the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then we also will appear with him in glory. Open our lips, O Lord, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Alleluia. Welcome to St. Michael and all angels for the service of morning prayer on this Thursday in the third week of Easter. Let us pray. You, O God, are rich in mercy, out of the great love with which you loved us. Even when we were dead through our sins, you made us alive together with Christ. You raised us up in union with him and made us sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus so that you might show the immeasurable riches of your grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. By your Spirit at work within us, you do far more abundantly than all we ask or think. To you be glory in the Church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. Amen. Now, today's psalm is supposed to be Psalm 136. Uh, but I've chosen Psalm 98. Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for the Lord has done marvellous things. With your own right hand, O Lord, and with your holy arm, you have gained for yourself the victory. You have made known your victory. You have displayed your saving power to all the nations. You have remembered your faithfulness and your love for the house of Israel, and all the ends of the earth have seen your victory. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Sing and rejoice with the sound of melody. Sing to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and with the voice of song. With trumpets also and horns, shout for joy before the Lord our King. Let the sea roar and all that is in it, the world and those who inhabit it. Let the rivers clap their hands, let the hills rejoice together before the Lord. For you, O Lord, are coming to judge the earth. With righteousness you will judge the world, and the peoples with equity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. This reading this morning comes from the book of Exodus, chapter 25, beginning uh, at the first verse. The Lord said to Moses, Tell the Israelites to take from me an offering from all whose hearts prompt them to give you shall receive the offering for me. This is the offering that you shall receive from them, gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and crimson yarns, and fine linen, goat's hair, tanned rams, skins, fine leather, acacia wood, oil for the lamps, spices for the anointing oil and for the fragrant incense, onyx stones and gems to be set in the ephod and the breast piece, and have them make me a sanctuary, so that I may dwell among them, in accordance with all that I show you concerning the pattern of the tabernacle, and of all its furniture, so you shall make it. They shall make an ark of acacia wood, shall be two and a half cubits long, a cubit and a half wide, and a cubit and a half high. You shall overlay it with pure gold, inside and outside, and you shall overlay it, and you shall make a mold, moulding of gold upon it all around. You shall cast four rings of gold for it, and put them on its four feet, two rings on the one side of it, and two rings on the other. You shall make poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold, and you shall put the poles into the rings on the sides of the ark, by which to carry the ark. The poles shall remain in the rings of the ark, they shall not be taken from it. You shall put into the ark the covenant that I shall give you. Then you shall make a mercy seat of pure gold, two, cub two cubits and a half shall be its length and a cubit and a half its width. You shall make two cherubim of gold, you shall make them of hammered work at the two ends of the mercy seat. Make one cherub at one end and one cherub at the other. Of one piece with the mercy seat, you shall make the cherubim at its two ends. The cherubim shall spread out their wings above, overshadowing the mercy seat with their wings. 
They shall face one another. The faces of the cherubim shall be turned towards the mercy seat. You shall put the mercy seat on the top of the ark, and in the ark you shall put the covenant that I shall give you. There I will meet with you, and from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubim that are on the ark of the covenant, I will deliver to you all my commands for the Israelites. Second reading comes from the Gospel of Luke. Chapter 1, beginning at the 57th verse. Now the time came for Elizabeth to give birth, and she bore a son. Her neighbours and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. On the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they were going to name him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said, No, he is to be called John. They said to her, None of your relatives has this name. Then they began motioning to his father to find out what name he wanted to give him. He asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. And all of them were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue freed, and he began to speak, praising God. Fear came over all their neighbours, and all these things were talked about throughout the entire hill country of Judea. All who heard them pondered them and said, what then will this child become? For indeed, the hand of the Lord was with them. Then his father, Zechariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke his prophecy. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has looked favourably on his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty saviour for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old, that we would be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. Thus he has shown the mercy promised to our ancestors, and has remembered his holy covenant, the oath that he swore to our ancestor Abraham, to grant us that we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, and you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the wilderness until the day he appeared publicly to Israel. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the sorrowful, for they shall find consolation. Blessed are those of a gentle spirit, for they shall have the earth for their possession. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst to see right prevail, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are those who show mercy, for mercy shall be shown to them. Blessed are those whose hearts are pure, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called God's children. Blessed are those who have suffered persecution for the cause of right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to sh you show to those who are in error the light of your truth, that they may return into the way of righteousness. May we and all who have been admitted into the fellowship of Christ's religion Reject those things that are contrary to our profession, and follow all that is agreeable to it, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
O gracious and holy Father, give us wisdom to perceive you, diligence to seek you, patience to wait for you, eyes to behold you, a heart to meditate upon you, and a life to proclaim you, through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy and eternal God, in you we live and move and have our being. In all our cares and occupations, guide and govern us by your Spirit, that we may both remember and reveal your presence through our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining us here at St. Michael and Angels for morning prayer on this Monday in the third week of Easter. I hope these words and prayers and uh, this time that we have spent together has been of some help to you on this day. Please join us together. Uh, please join us again at 12.35 for our service of spiritual communion. God bless you all. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord direct our hearts into God's love and Christ's perseverance.